What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to check out what Zerz brought on the 6th of January 2017. Now I apologise about my voice, I'm still suffering with a flu. Did that dude just disappear then? Yeah, I'm still suffering with a flu, sore throat, blocked nose, all sorts of bad shit. Uh, but let's check out what Zer has. He's located in the reef by the way, if you can't find him in the tower. A way I always check as well, I fly down to the tower, you look at that first left pillar at the bottom of the steps. Um, if that blue logo ain't there, then it means he isn't in the tower. It's as simple as that. Uh, but yes, he's in the reef. Let's see what he has this week. Oh, so we've got three of the coins back. So the things that were mysteriously missing for the past two weeks, bugged somehow. I don't know how they were bugged, but they were bugged. Uh, last week it was funny though because these disappeared and mysteriously we had an exotic, yet no one was at office at Bungie, but still we got an exotic. Was that bugged as well? Who knows? But yeah, Three of Coins is back now. You know what I think it was? I don't think it was a bug. I think Bungie were testing us. I think they were testing the community to see how we would react if these things were taken away. There was an uproar about it and they're uh, back. They're mysteriously back, they returned. Uh, was it a plan by Bungie to eventually remove them from the game? Who knows? Um, I still am not going to waste my strange coins. Well, not all of them anyway. I'm going to buy a few. Don't get it twisted. I like to have about 200 on each character. I've got about 150 on each character at the moment. Probably a little bit less. I'll probably buff it up a bit. But yes, um, I've got every exotic in the game anyway. I don't really need anything else. Uh, but uh, okay, let's just get into the... The loot he's brought. So we have a legacy engram. This is heavy. This is not year two and three weapons. So you won't get anything great out of this from year two or three. Uh, costing 31 strange coins. Jesus. Okay, for the titan we have the helm in most light. Offering 95 intellect, uh, 350 defense. Costing 13 strange coins. Gain death from above and headstrong. Uh, for the hunter, we have the young Arham Carver Spine Gauntlets. 350 defense, 13 strange coins, offering 92 discipline. Increase trip mine grenade duration, gain an additional trip mine grenade charge. For the warlock, we have the Light Beyond Nemesis. Also costing 13 strange coins, offering 94 intellect. Super generate an extra orb and revive and be revived faster. Okay, weapon of the week we have the Monty more fucking Carlo. Actually, a weapon you don't hear most well a lot of people talking about. It's actually quite decent for PvP. It's it, it's it's actually quite decent. If you don't have this, I suggest spending 23 coins on this motherfucker because it's a beast. Um and that's basically it. We got heavy ammo simps, uh costing one strange coin for three or three strange coins for ten. And uh, not bad. And we got these bullshit things. I don't think anybody buys these. But yes, we also got Mozart of Lights and Exotic Shards costing seven. Sh what the fuck? You're better off buying through your coins um, and tr testing your chance with your luck of getting an exotic drop. If you ain't got it already, you dismantle it and get a an exotic shard. Or I'm sure you could do something where you could buy the truth out of the vaults and dismantle it and you get a shard or two. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't spend your strange coins on that to be honest. Uh, but yes, guys, that is Zer's loot for the 6th of January 2007, more fucking team. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about Bungie's true intention with the three of coins down below in that comment section. I personally think it was a test. I mean, like, I love conspiracy theories and shit like that. That's what I think this motherfucking thing is. They planned on taking it away. They wanted to test the community by removing them. See how we would react. To be honest, I don't think that many people were pissed off about it. I saw I feel I saw a lot of people were angry about it. It's the only way of getting exotics easily, which is true. But exotics shouldn't drop easily. Exotics should be exotic. They ain't exotic no more. Legendaries in this game are more exotic than exotics, which don't make sense and shouldn't be the case. Uh, yeah, one grind for exotics was the true... Wait, wait, so that feeling when you had an exotic drop, that element of surprise when the exotic dropped is missing from Destiny now. One of the main things that got me addicted to the game in the first place. Uh, do I think Fear Coins should be removed? I don't know. I don't know. I understand a lot of everybody plays this every single day like me and a lot of you guys watching uh, and can't afford to grind it every day in search of grind raids, in search of exotics. So Fear Coins helps them out. Uh, but yes, guys. Let me know what you think about it down below in that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by. Again, I apologise about my voice. And I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!